Hi, this is Adam Bean and I would like to introduce Lightfish. It's a small tool written in Java 6, which is able to monitor a Java 6 application server, like uh, Glassfish in particular, and fetch um, some probes and persist in a relational database, Derby in our case. Um, it was built on Java 6, so I will deploy Lightfish on a Glassfish application server, but uh, Lightfish is able to monitor uh, a remote server. This is actually the usual ca case that the Lightfish accesses a remote application server over REST, fetches the data, persists the data in a relational store uh, using timers, so it's configurable. You can configure the period. The interesting story is um, the data will be pushed um, as with long polling in, polling in real time as well. So what I built as well, a small JavaFX application which is able to access, which accesses Light, Lightfish in real time and draw some charts. So let's install uh, Lightfish. So I would just download from the page and the page is lightfish.adambean.com. And yeah, you can download the binary or the sources. Lightfish is open source, has Apache license. So I would like to download the file to desktop and just save it. And yeah, then let's start a fresh Glassfish instance. I will just uh, use the command line and yeah, I'm in the Glassfish folder and um, I would like auto deploy the application. As you see, it's, uh, it's empty. So there is uh, no application. So I would like to start the database first with, I go to AS admin and just start the database. It's Derby. So it starts right now, and then would like to start the application server. I would use the domain one. It's a st standard domain. So if you download Glassfish 312 and just extract the zip file and start it, you will get one domain called domain one. This is what I'm st what I started right now. Um, so Glassfish is up and running. And then I, then I would like to copy the uh, file from the desktop. And this is Lightfish War into the current directory. It means it, it uh, tries to um, deploy the application right now. And uh, so let's see what the Glassfish is running. So it seems to run. Then I would like to access the Lightfish application. So you only have to, to put the Lightfish URI. It actually looks good. What you see right now is uh, Lightfish is up and running. It was installed in the meantime. And the interesting story is you don't have to set up the persistence because it was set up with data source definition. So in Java 6 it is possible to use the data source definition. So I predefined a data source with the database, which is configured on the fly, which is actually perfect for applications, for utility applications like Lightfish. So um, what, the, what this uh, field does, it means we have, um, we would like to monitor this application server running on localhost 4848 and the interval are two seconds. So every two seconds, um, new probe will be fetched from the application server using REST. So I will just um, active, oh, this is also interesting, activate monitoring. So what you can do right now, I will just activate the monitoring. Um, so we'll set uh, monitoring high to all levels. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to fetch the data. So I just start the application. And um, what, what happened right now, uh, now it is activated, so every two seconds it fetches new data uh, from the from Glassfish and persistence in the relational database. So let's fire up LightView. Is the um, LightView is the um, LightView is the um, JavaFX application which monitors, uh, which fetches the data and and um, and draws some charts. So I would like to start the LightView app. Um, 
So it's connected with uh, with Classfish, as you can see, it draws some nice charts. Um, this is actually usable in stress tests because you see in real time what happens on the server. What also nice, um, this is actually the output again, is the web view, so I can also control it from here. And um, yeah, you see the number of transactions, there are no rollback, so everything looks fine. Paranormal activity means we have no queued connections, no errors, but we could provoke some errors. Let's say we cause an error and you will see that the error um, is, the, is, is shown in, in real time in the light view. So. And uh, the web, we have two HTTP sessions, no expired sessions, and we can monitor the uh, pools as well. The sample pool and the and timer pools, both are pre-installed. Um, yeah, this was the uh, Lightfish application. And, and how it actually works, it accesses Glassfish over port 4848, um, monitoring domain. And it actually accesses the um, the Glassfish resources. For instance, here there are the resource pool, but not as HTML, rather than over JSON. So, and Lightfish parses the JSON data and uh, and 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 interprets or parses the JSON data, creates a JPA object, stores it in the database, and pushes it via via long long polling. So, um, have fun with Java 6 performance testing. Check out Lightfish. If you like, you can participate. You can even clone the whole application on GitHub. So on GitHub, I'm Adam Bean. So if you like, just clone it, but I will clone it back. So enjoy Java 6 hacking and see you in one of my upcoming workshops, conferences, or projects. So enjoy. Thank you.